But this girl beef, it was what it was. Now, the last time I talked about, you know, these uh, women in hip-hop having their differences, we talked about Cardi B and Queen Nicki over here. As Nicki dropped Red Ruby the Shleeho. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, sorry about it. I had to let that little yawn out, you know what I'm saying? Because it's been dry for months, as you see. So now that I start talking about, like, um... Females going, MCs going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? You revitalized my soul. But anyways, when Nicki dropped Red Ruby the sleeves, oh, sorry, it wasn't against Cardi, my bad. She was going against Meg. We all know that Cardi, Nicki, I don't know. There's just some shit over there. With that being said, um, uh, yeah, she was going against Meg. We heard some choice lines, you know. I have it if we're hosting since Christopher Reeves and all these little slick lines. Da, 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 da. She clearly talking about Meg, whatever, you know, people from Meg's camp or whatever. Like, they like, yo, she did not say Meg's name, so there's none of this, blah, 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 which sounds like she ducking, but hey, it's just me. It sounds like she ducking a little bit. Oh, yeah, before I really get on in there, hey, what's up with saying? this K.A., we back in this thing. K.A. so good he sleep with a cut up for Tron, you know, the nigga want to tell you, hey, man. Besides all that. We here to talk about it. Now, apparently, they've been saying they've been, uh, more beef has come out. Now, if you remember, Nicki and Lotto had their little back and forth tip for tail, which I don't think is done. A lot of people been coming for Lotto recently, which I fuck with my Lotto or Lotto, whatever the fuck you call her, Big Lotto. She been doing her thing. She don't really be messy or really be beefing with niggas or be. She just mind her business, but apparently, motherfuckers ain't giving her that shine because she's been accused of sharing Ice Spice and... She claps back. Now, you know, I don't, they say, uh, I forgot the song. I don't know if the, it, it was the song she she was featuring on with the girl from uh, Chicago. I forgot her name as well. Um, Basically, like, the label trying to make a new lotto, da 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 which, you know, you could refer to Ice Spice. Lotto is a biracial girl. She's a mixed girl. You could say Ice Spice. Well, Ice Spice is mixed. We all fucking know that. With that being said, um, also, like, but, People saying like they kind of twerk the same, which okay, but Ice Spice's shit is like her little sensual twerk and putting her fingers where her cat is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's her little thing. I haven't really seen a lot of be doing this shit, but hey, a lot of people saying like she's who's doing this shit. You know, Meg got her distinct twerk, like she bouncing up and down on. You know what I'm saying? She bouncing up and down during relations. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker put in there work, Jeremy. She got that little thing going on. And, you know, other people twerk. But, like, them niggas is just known for this shit. Mostly Megan and Ice Spice got her little, her little twerk shit she be doing. But besides that. <clears throat> and, hey, it's fucking with her. You know, what's, you know what's crazy about Ice Spice, right? She be rapping the song. People like, yeah, whatever. As soon as she turns around and does her local dance... Niggas, everybody like, oh, like, I'm, what? <laughs> I'm so confused, bro. It, it's so weird. I'm just like, what the fuck is that nigga wrong? Sorry about the ad, cancel that motherfucker. Now, with that being said, we're going to read this little shit right here. So, her critics never take a day off. Lotto's once again defending herself online. The 777 hemp maker is enjoying life as big energy continues to sit on the show. Oh, wow. But with success comes naysayers. Lotto's social media clapbacks are well documented, and she added another to the list after she was accused of trying to... Uh, Subtly shade Ice Spice. The Munch rapper is a newcomer in the female MC arena, and as usual, fans are attempting to create a divide. This latest spat had to go down with Lotto reposting her birthday upload from 2020. It was then that she showed off her new Corvette while bending over in front of the luxury vehicle. Oh, was she doing the same? Oh, so I'm guessing she was doing like the same pose. Like, the same way she bent over and did her little twerk shit is what Ice Spice does. I'm guessing that's why people are doing it. It seemed innocent enough, but people noticed the pose looking similar. Ice Spice, uh, Ice Spice used a drawing of herself in a similar position for her cover of her EP. Like what? Or like question mark EP. 
and social media users accused Lotto of aiming her, aiming at her period. It was attention that she didn't appreciate. So I guess this is a quote from Lotto. I don't like how y'all take my tweets and make them fit your weak ass narratives. She wrote in response. That was quote for quote. Um, YouTube leave my ass alone. She wrote in response. A user told her that she was the person who created the narrative. Lotto replied, every time y'all accuse me of copying folks, I'm going to clear it up. No more, none more, none less. Okay. But that was 2020. After her message circulated, Lotto returned to her Instagram story in three slides and shared three selfies. Over the images, she wrote, leave me alone. Fan bases um, have been uh, have been called out for how they pit artists against each other, especially women. A standard narrative is it's challenging to get a woman in the rap game. It's challenging to get women in the rap game to get along. But the camaraderie among female MCs has been etched in hip hop since its inception. Additionally, Lotto has seen, uh, was seen alongside Young Miami filming a music video with Lola Brooke earlier this week. It looked like the trio was working on a visual to the remix of Brooke's Don't Play With It hit. Meanwhile, Lotto has been taking extra hits online due to her previous follow with Nicki Minaj. The ladies went on a verbal war on Twitter during the time when the Grammy nominations were announced. Minaj took issue with her potential placement in the pop category, and Lotto's name was quickly added to the conversation. The latter was, has made it clear throughout her career that she idolizes Nikki, but this unfortunate, uh, unfortunate moment shifted things. Yeah, to be honest, I'm sorry, I know we're talking about uh, Lotto and Iceberg. That Nikki, like, Nikki had a point. I'm not going to act like Nikki didn't have a point. But even still, like, I don't know why y'all was beefing over that shit. It wasn't that serious, but it, again, I digress. Okay. With that being said, I don't. <coughs> me now seeing the pictures, I wish I could use it as a thumbnail. YouTube would probably get mad as fuck. Well. But anyways, me now seeing the pictures, I get it's a similar pose. It's a similar pose, but yeah, bro. Like, bro, you're telling me a shorty can't do that? And like, yeah, like. And this was like 2020. I don't think Ice Spice was around in 2020. Ice Spice was around 2022. So, like, nigga, who give a fuck, bro? That was way before Ice Spice really started popping off. At the end of the day, it is what it is, bro. But yeah, I didn't, yeah, you could say they're putting, uh, pitting females against each other. But me hearing that verse, they're trying to make another lotto. Now, nah, she might not be talking about um, Ice Spice, but even still, with all this coming around it. All this um, publicity, I guess, or people paying attention to, do y'all have issues or whatever, and you having that bar, it's like, okay, shawty, like, what is you on? What is you talking about? So I get that narrative and perspective. But yeah, we shall see what the fuck happens in this little situation. But yeah, I don't really think it's that serious, but you never know. Who knows? I spice my, hey. She might throw out a shot. We'll see what the fuck happens. But besides that, is it as serious right now? It is what it is. But hey, I said that last time with that Nikki and Cardi situation that was going on. I'm like, hey, it's whatever. It ain't that super serious. And then, hey, them niggas was full out beefing. So we'll see what the fuck happens. But anyways, what do you feel about that little situation? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Besides all that, you already know I got some other videos for y'all to check out. And you know it's your friendly neighbor, K.A. signing off for today. The Black TJ Day while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasi Moto. Hit like and subscribe. We trying to hear a little bit more though, you hear me? And I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace, y'all. gang. Aye.